Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you Autogen integrated with open source large language model using text generation UI. Imagine you can run a large language model locally on your computer and integrate that with Autogen. That's exactly what we're going to see now. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to set that up on your computer. Let's get started. If you haven't watched my previous beginner's guide for Autogen, I do recommend watching that video because that contains the basic things to set up Autogen, which I've linked that in the YouTube description. As a quick glance, first step is to import Autogen. Next, you define an assistant as an assistant agent and give a name as assistant. And the next is you define a proxy, user proxy, and provide a user proxy as a name. Then you provide a working directory and coding is the di directory where the code will get saved. So this is the basic configuration. Assistant is the bot and user proxy is the user, which is you. So once after the initial setup is done, go to user proxy, initiate chat. There you can ask what question you want to ask. Now the aim is to integrate that with a large language model using text generation UI. I have already covered text generation UI in a separate video in more detail. I've linked that in the description below, but still I'll quickly take you through the initial setup. Git clone text generation web UI and click enter. Navigate into the text generation web UI folder. There you should see start Linux, start macOS, start Windows. I'm using macOS, so I'm going to start that. Bash start macOS.sh. That will start the text generation web UI. You need to choose which GPU you are using. In my case, I'm using Apple M series, so I typed C. Text generation web UI is installed now. Now you can navigate to this URL. This is how the interface would look like. In here, we are going to download the model which we want to use in Autogen. Go to models. In here, I'm going to use Mistral 7 billion parameter model. I'm typing the model name here and also the file name here. Just because it's GGUEF, you will have multiple files you can choose from. You choose one which works best for you and then download. Downloading file to models folder. This will automatically download and you can see the download progress in the terminal. Once after that is downloaded, go to the interface and click the refresh button at the top. Then you should be able to click what model you want to choose. Click the Mistral 7 billion parameter model and then in the model loader, choose Llama CPP and then click load. Here you can see successfully loaded Mr. 7 billion instruct parameter model. Then you can save your settings. Next, navigate to the sessions tab at the top. This is where you activate your API. Click on that. In the available extension, click the API, click the open AI. In the Boolean command line flags, click API and then click listen. So once you've chosen those, click apply flags and extension restart. That will automatically reload the text generation web UI. Now it has reloaded. Now when you go to the session tab, you should be able to see all those ticked. And in the model tab, you should have seen that Mistral 7 b selected. Now it's all ready. Now copy the URL. This is what we are going to use in our Autogen. Now coming back to the app.py file, we are going to add two different settings. One is config list equals, it's a list and inside the flower bracket, you are going to add API base. That is the URL we, we've just copied. And we are going to mention 5001. That is the port number the API is getting broadcasted. 127001 also works same as 0000. Even if you change this to localhost, it will still work. Now we are going to add API key that is going to be null. The next setting is LLM config flower bracket. You're going to type request timeout. I'm going to give that as 800 because we are querying a large language model locally in your computer. So it might need more time to query a request. Then I'm going to provide the config list that is config list. So you have two different settings added config list and LLM config. So I'm going to add this LLM config in say the assistant agent. LLM config equals LLM config. That's it. So just by adding these two extra blocks and assigning it to assistant agent, now you will be able to query an open source large language model within Autogen. Let's try to run this code. Opening the terminal, Python app.py. 
So the question which I've asked is, what is the name of the model you are based on? So the response from the assistant is, my name is Mistral 7 billion version 0.1. That's exactly what we want. I can even ask it to generate first five even numbers in Python. And I'm going to run this. Python app.py and it's generating five even numbers in Python. You can even generate advanced softwares or games like a Python game or tic-tac-toe game. There are many games which you can create and it'll automatically generate that for you. You can see the even numbers got generated and that's it. As simple as that. If you have any question, do leave your questions in the comments below. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.